doing the ow. Mau. I, I liked it at the start. You went ow, and you got to the position that I wanted. Ow, and then it closed up again. <laughs> <laughs> There, there, there. Beautiful. Hold that, hold that, hold that. That's the one. You feel just that little bit of a lower sensation? Yeah. 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 That's what I'm after for this. Now, I'm going to do a video as soon as I hang up from you guys. Hang on. Maybe I, because I want to demonstrate exactly what's going on. If I grab my horn uh, and do the demonstration I'm about to do, would you have me a, a problem with me using it, or would you prefer to not have that? As in, if I did it, if I did a video and put on my website, just demonstrating exactly what I'm after, because I had a person questioning um, uh, the the connection between the AU, which is. So I'll demonstrate. You just want to record you so you can have. Yeah, yeah. I don't have problem. Yeah. Um. So if I was to be really transparent with this, the R ah, is about a It's like a low A flat, a low A flat on trombone. So it's an octave and a note lower than a low C. So what I'm and, and the, the question from um, is a pro player over in London, Freddie Gravita. Is like he's struggling to make a connection between the AU uh, and then the low C, and he's interested in the width of the aperture. I'm not so concerned about the width of the aperture because I still think both of them are uh, vibrating all the way across. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. That's that. That I'm seeing just talking about it, demonstrating it. I think I said in the last lesson, what's the best way to learn something is to try and teach it to someone else. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I maintain that, that's the note that's coming out. So when I'm going from there to a low C. <clears throat> So if I was to take the tuning slide out. He was just wondering about the, the width of the aperture. So I guess in a way, when I'm doing AU, it's more of a maybe trombone setting, mouthpiece setting. So there's the connection. It's hard because we're crossing over um, a wide range on the pipe. If I did it on lead pipe here. Hmm. It's a whole other octave going on. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm still I'm still thinking about a way of uh, tying it all together. Because ultimately, 
to answer his question is is the thing about the the width of the the aperture. But I think even in demonstrating of demonstrating, it's getting the point across of what I'm working on. And the importance of it is body resonance, jaw down, so there's no sense of pinch. We want to eliminate the pinch in the middle of the lip. Hence the ah. Uh, so when when I had you keep that jaw down, if the jaw had have been up, you wouldn't have got down to that because we didn't open up the resonance in the mouth. Like, you know, when you, I can do it, demonstrate it here. So in the mouth, as the, as the water level drops, mm -hmm. The pitch is dropping. It's a Helmholtz resonator. Right, right. So to get down to that pitch. It's pedal time on though. The thing about this, I love this stuff. There's, I've got an exercise coming up because that pitch is about a concert. Uh, so it's a concert F sharp. I think the concert E is the fundamental harmonic of the trumpet, right? They had to sacrifice the pedal C in order to get the overtones in the pipe. So basically, I'm going to I'm going to use this uh, and show Freddie where I'm at with the psychology of it. My main thing is about the sensation of it, but the relationship between that. And the low C is what he's interested in. So this might be the first of a couple of videos to become a bit more concise. But I think it's going to tie in nicely with where that fundamental is. Interesting. So, Freddie, that's all I've got for you at the moment. I'll keep working. I'm trying to formulate it in a way that's more logical. There we go.